Hello, hello. I hope you're well. It's Amanda in Essex here. I have been away for a couple of days because uh, I just had my birthday. It was my 40th birthday. Uh, I had a really nice time, but uh, I wasn't fit for filming. Uh, I was just out, out, out every night. My little dear daughter, who's four years old, is here. She's just playing in the room behind me. This is sort of open plan at the back from the kitchen. Um, so she's just having a little play. So you may hear her in the video, but not to worry. She's just having fun. We are in the kitchen zone this week. It's the second zone, second week of the month. We are in zone two, which is the kitchen. So welcome back to the kitchen. The fly lady has given us some missions. One is to clean out underneath your sink. One is to um, look at the monthly habit for the month of November, which is meal planning. So making sure that you're doing some meal planning. And actually I may, I'm about to start dinner, so I may just do some cooking while I have you here in the kitchen with me. Why not? Um, it is really important before you start doing any zone work to make sure that you have done your routines. Hold on, I just hear a small child. Sorry about that, motherhood calling. Do make sure that you have finished your routine so that you've finished your morning routine. Make sure you've got a load of laundry on. Make sure that you've made your bed, that you're dressed to shoes. I'm dressed to shoes. Those are my indoor lace-up shoes I have on there. Make sure you're dressed to shoes. Make sure you know what's for dinner. Um, before you start doing any missions like digging all of the rags from the past month out from under your sink. Um, but once you have done your routines, you can go on to zone cleaning. And I'm just pulling out my Fly Lady Control Journal to have a look at the zone for the month. Zone two, detailed cleaning list, empty refrigerator and clean thoroughly. My shopping is actually about to come any minute now, so we may get stopped because I have to go and let the um, groceries in, but clean your refrigerator thoroughly, clean your microwave inside and out, clean your stove and your oven. I mean, I clean my stove top every night as part of my evening routine, and um, I have a valet who does the oven, so I don't really have to do that task. But now that it's coming up to Christmas, I actually need to book him. So I will do that today. Straighten drawers and cupboards one at a time. Remember, if you're straightening out your cupboards, you know, set your timer for 15 minutes. And that just reminds me, I need to set my timer for this video. I'm going to put 10 minutes on it so I don't go for ages. There we are, and we're off. Set your timer for 15 minutes and just do one drawer at a time. And another rule of decluttering with Fly Lady is you never take out more than you can put away in one hour. Because you don't spend a whole weekend decluttering your kitchen. You actually have, um, you know, we rotate through these zones. You come back in month to month. And if you only get one drawer while we're in the kitchen zone this month, that's fine. You don't need to pull every single thing out and do a massive declutter and wear yourself out so that you're not cleaning anymore. You know, housekeeping is just about consistency, the consistency of your morning routine, which is essentially dishes, get your dishwasher running, unload the dishes from the night before, put the breakfast dishes in, and laundry, get your laundry running. Those are Sisyphean tasks. You never finish them. They just continue day after day after day after day. Then you have your weekly tasks, which are your weekly home blessing hours. So cleaning the windows in your main traffic areas, hoovering your main traffic areas, hoovering your bedroom, those sort of things that you need to do once a week. Then you move on to your zone tasks. And your zone tasks are the things you do once a month. So let me continue on these in the kitchen. So wipe your fingerprints off walls and switch plates, wash the inside of the windows, clean the fan or the vent hood filters. So I actually put those filters on my vent hood. I put them through the dishwasher. So I've done that already. Scrub down the cabinet fronts only a few at a time. So don't come in here. I have one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have 21 cabinet fronts in this galley kitchen. I mean, we do have a huge amount of storage in here with this cabinetry, but you know, to wipe down 21 cabinets, that's a, that's a lot and it's physical. So, 
you know, over this week while we're in the zone, when I'm doing my evening routine and pottering about in the kitchen, I'll just wipe down a couple of cabinet fronts while I'm at it. Um, just to make sure that by the end of the week, you get them all done. Clean any light diffusing bowls. You know, I'm noticing behind me, I keep some glassware in this window and this big, I, ha uh, I have a big glass vase. Here, I'll show you. And I had some Christmas decorations in it and stuff, so it's just a little bit mucky. So I'm gonna take the window cleaner to that one today and get that cleaned up. Um, clean under the sink, throw away any old rags or grocery sacks. For me, while I'm in this zone, I also clean the dishwasher, so run one of those dishwasher cleaning packets through the dishwasher, and I do the same for the washing machine. I bleach my sink. Generally, I try not to clean with bleach, but once a month I do bleach my sink because it gets um, tea stains and things like that in it, so I do want to make it just sparkly clean once a month. And then I refill the dishwasher salt and the rinse aid. So it makes me feel like I've done a lot, like oh, I've really conquered the kitchen zone this week, but in fact, I've just refilled the dishwasher salt. It's really not that big a deal, but you get a lot of tick marks for it and it feels really nice. So those are some of the tasks to work on. Our monthly habit for October was paper clutter. So we did our seven day paper clutter challenge. We cleaned paper clutter out of our children's rooms. We cleaned paper clutter out of our loft. We cleaned paper clutter out of our car. We cleaned paper clutter out of our handbag. Um, we cleaned paper clutter out of our shelving units. So I really hope that you're feeling great about the amount of paper clutter that you got rid of. And you can do this paper clutter challenge anytime. If you didn't get it done in October, if you didn't get all seven days finished, I've put all of the videos into a playlist I act as your timer and just sit and we just have a chat and a declutter. So um, anytime you want to play that playlist, I'll put the link for it there. And anytime you want to play that playlist, I'm happy to sit with you and do a little paper clutter declutter. Um, I got a lot of progress, so I was really pleased with that. The monthly habit for November is meal planning. So I'm going to take you on a little walk through my kitchen and show you how and where I do my meal planning. So this is the inside of my cupboard, and it's a very messy cupboard because that's where we keep all our plastic, but this is my family calendar. And on to the family calendar in this final column, I always write what we're having for dinner. Now it's in pencil, so it's kind of hard for you to read, but this week we've had chili, chicken curry, spag bowl, and today we're gonna have pork casserole. So that's all there, and then I'll show you this one. I also keep, now this is empty at the minute because my groceries are coming tonight, but as we run out of things, you can see that there, cold tea, I want my little tea infusions. As we run out of things, I write it on here, and then I plan my meals, so I inventory what I have in my pantry. I'll just show you my pantry while we're here in the kitchen. Now, this is in a right state, but um, you'll get a sense of how I go about my meal planning. So I open the pantry, have a look at what we have in here to use up and then buy against what I already have. So for me, my goal is to always empty that pantry and that fridge and buy against the things that I already have so that I can um, really manage my budget well, manage my family life well, and just make sure that things are on time, on target, on track, and that the family are doing well. So today I have a super duper easy pork stew, pork casserole that I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how I do it. And it's actually a dump and go crock pot recipe, like literally dump and go. So these are for the days when you're just so busy that you're hardly in the house, but you, you know, you have a family to feed. And I think the other thing is like, take the perfectionism away guys, because it doesn't need to be a gourmet meal every single night of the week. You just have to get the family fed. Your husband just expects something when he gets home from an hour long commute from the city. Your kids just expect something warm and cozy to eat when they get home. So this is my crock pot and it's actually um, one of those Instapot type crock pots. So it is a pressure cooker and uh, a slow cooker. So I can use either function. 
and I'll just turn you this way so you can see. My refrigerator is right here. It all looks like cupboards because everything's inbuilt here, but actually that's my refrigerator. Um, so let me just turn you there. So yesterday, I have all of a sudden started shopping in Aldi. I never shopped in Aldi before. I always used Ocado, which is like Waitrose delivery. I recently started using Tesco's delivery, which I really like. Um, but I have, since I got those candles from Aldi, I do occasionally pop into Aldi and see what's what. And this is new. This is a pork casserole pre-packed meal. It cost £3.99 and they had a chicken one that cost £2.99. But it essentially is a dump and go crock pot recipe. It has carrots, potatoes, leeks, diced pork, and a gravy. And what I think I can do is just dump this all in. Now it has directions for how to cook it in the oven. It says transfer all ingredients to a casserole dish, add 200 ml of water, stir, cover, cook in the middle shelf of a preheated oven for two hours. All right, so I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm gonna pop it into this pressure cooker and either slow cook it for four hours or pressure cook it and then use the keep warm function, which actually I think I will do. And what this has in it is baby potatoes, carrots, swede, leek, red onion, pork gravy, um, <laughs> yeah, and pork. And I don't think I even need to brown this pork before I put it in there. I think I can literally dump this in, which I'm gonna do right now. So you get a look at like what the pork looks like and there's the gravy there. And it's got this bag of veg. I mean, this is so lazy, right? I could easily cut up all these things and make my own dish. But if you're a working mom, if you're, you know, taking a course, if, you, if you're just up to your neck and kids as well, if you're just looking after kids all day, veg, straight in, pour them straight in. Got my little scissors here. Gravy. Gravy straight in. Put it in there. In the bin. Wash my hands. There's my little timer. I'm gonna give us I'm gonna give us four more minutes. And that'll take us up to just over the 15 minute mark. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do 200 ml of water. I'm just gonna use a cup because my measuring cups are in the cupboard right behind you. So here, that's about 200 ml is like one cup in American measurements. looks like in the crock pot. I hope you can see that. Sorry for my filming. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just just a mom having a bit of fun in her kitchen. So um, so that's in the crock pot and I'm actually going to use the pressure cooker function. Grab the lid out here. I mean these could not be easier. This crock pot branded one, I got this on Amazon. And I use it a lot. And to be honest, one of the things I mostly use it for is a rice cooker. Um, it does rice brilliantly. But I'm um, just going to move you a little bit. Um, because my plugs are on this side. In the UK, we don't put plugs on the same side where there's water. So because my sink is there, there are no plugs there. 
all of the plugs are on this side of the kitchen. So I'm just going to put in this car pot. There we go. Got it sealed. If you close the pressure valve, always make sure you close the pressure valve when you're using a pressure cooker. Mine actually has a setting on it which says meat and stew. So I'm going to press meat and stew and start. It's bringing itself up to heat and then that will do all the cooking for me. And I'm like hands free now. We're going to have a beautiful dinner. Everybody's going to get fed and I'm hands free to look after the kids. I hear my little four year old daughter playing in the other room. She's playing with a dollhouse and I'm desperate to go play with her. Um, I hope you have a great day. It's Thursday, so remember today's errand day. If you need to go to the library, if you need to do your grocery shopping, make sure you get that stuff done on Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, which is clean out your car on purse day. I've really got to clean out my car because I gave my two children a donut in the back of the car, and I just noticed yesterday it's everywhere. So we may do that as a video tomorrow, doing a little car clean out. But I hope you have a great day. Uh, I hope you find some really easy recipes. Two of my favorite YouTubers, Diane in Denmark and The Secret Slob are doing a little series together. And one of their first videos is talking about five easy recipes. So um, if I had five, I've just shown you one. I would say that's a really easy one to do. Um, I'll show you another one and actually both of them show this as well. I'm just digging into my fridge. Right? Frozen pizza. You know, that is a super quick and easy meal. This is like a four cheese tortellini. This takes two minutes to boil. And um, what I tend to do for my husband and I is put a little truffle oil. So this is like white truffle oil and black truffle oil. A little truffle oil, a little sea salt. For the kids, I might just put a red sauce on it, something like, you know, that I already have in the fridge, like a regular tomato sauce. So that's three quick meals there, a dumping bowl casserole, a pasta, <laughs> and a pizza um, that I've literally just pulled out of the cupboard off the hoof. Um, I hope that you find meal planning enjoyable. Shut this so you don't have to stare at my children's artwork, but I hope you find meal planning enjoyable for November. I hope you have a great Thursday and I'll see you soon. Toodle pip.